Howdy folks, and welcome back to World of Tanks with the Mighty Jingles. And oh boy, have I got something special for you today. Those of you who have been following the good, the bad, and the ugly since the start may remember way back in episode 7, there was a, let's just call him special, lerva driver called Schrader. If you're new to the good, the bad and the ugly, you might not remember Schrader. It was way back when I started doing these videos, but you may have seen some of the memes he has generated. And of course, when I say memes that he generated, I do of course mean memes that you guys generated after watching his hilarious misperformance in the good, the bad and the ugly episode 7, where he basically failed hard at the start of the match, got himself killed and then spent the rest of the game trying to convince not only his team, but also the enemy team to report the only player on his team who was doing anything useful. The guy who did in fact go on to win the game with multiple kills and over 8,000 damage done. So we all laughed our asses off at Mr. Schrader. Um, not so much his performance in battle, but the way he just humiliated himself in chat after his tank had been knocked out. At the same time, however, way back in GBA 7, there were a bunch of cooler heads who pointed out that, well, let's not get too carried away at pointing the finger here, because judging by the way this guy's going on, it's entirely possible he's a very small child, or was possibly dropped on his head when he was a child. It's not beyond the bounds of possibility that the guy does actually genuinely suffer from some kind of mental disability. So we had a laugh at him, and then we kind of felt vaguely guilty for having a laugh at him, and various memes were generated, and then everybody forgot about him until today. Because based on the strength of this replay I can confirm that he is not in fact mentally challenged, he is just a massive douchebag, and to make matters worse he has now enlisted the help of two other douchebags. And fail platooning in a tier 8 heavy tank with a tier 6 medium and a tier 7 light are the least of his sins. Just, just feast your eyes on what's about to happen, the poor raven here in the RU251 spare panzer as he attempts to win the game. Here comes Schrader. Yep, there, that's that's how we start. That's how we're going to carry on. His little friend, Livet, there in the Walker Bulldog. What these guys are actually doing is they have XVM installed, and they are deliberately picking the player on their team with the best stats, and then they're harassing him the entire game. This is how you get a 34% win rating and an 83, not 830, 83 WN8 rating like Schrader has. To have stats that bad, you're not just a bad player. You are deliberately going out of your way to ensure that your team loses. You're driving in front of friendly tanks just as they're about to fire, trying to get them banned for causing team damage. You are just harassing, blocking, insulting them in chat. You're doing everything you can to ensure that the best players on your team have a terrible match. Just to put things into perspective here, if you were to add up the win rating of the three players in Schrader's platoon, you would come to 121% between the three of them. You don't get that bad unless you're doing it on purpose. All you guys out there who have a win rating, with a couple of thousand matches played, who have a win rating of 45-46%, you are part of the reason why your team keeps losing. But you're not doing it on purpose, you're just not very good at World of Tanks. There's nothing wrong with that, it doesn't make you a bad person. And as long as you keep trying and attempt to learn from your mistakes, you're probably going to get better. Schrader here has a 34% win rating, and it's getting worse. <laughs> 34% with less than a thousand games played. 80% of his games played in the Lover, and in the last week he has a 10% win rating. You do not get that bad unless you're doing it on purpose. It's statistically impossible to suck so much that you have a 10% win rating. Even if he was AFKing he'd have a 48 to 49% win rating. To get a win rating as bad as that, you have to be doing stuff like this in every game that you play. You have to have XVM installed, and you have to deliberately be targeting the best players on your team and going out of your way to mess their games up. Jingles, how do you know he has XVM installed? How do you know he's not just randomly managed to pick one of the guys on his team with the best win rating? Well. Why is he calling him a violet stitpitter? 
Not stat padder, by the way, <laughs> because this is Schrader and his English is terrible. He's a stat pitter. I think we've just spawned a new meme. You might be sitting there watching this with your jaw hanging on the floor in amazement, thinking, how the hell has this guy not had his account banned yet? And that's a fantastic question. The reason he hasn't had his account banned yet is because of you lot. You're not reporting douchebags like this often enough. This isn't a re-rolled account, by the way. It's the same name as he was using back in The Good, The Bad and The Ugly Episode 7, way back in February 2014. It's the same account that he was using over a year ago, and it still hasn't been banned. And that's not Wargaming's fault, it's ours. We're just not reporting this kind of behaviour because we just think, well, it's World of Tanks, this is what happens in World of Tanks, and nobody bothers clicking that report button. And so here he is, over a year later, in the same tank, still up to his old tricks. Why do we not report people who do this sort of thing? And that's what I don't understand. I mean, is it because people genuinely don't believe that submitting reports is going to have any effect? Trust me, it does. Nobody's going to get their account banned for a first offence, but... Well, trust me when I tell you this is not his first offence. Uh, you don't get a WNA rating of 83 over the lifetime of your account by only doing this sort of thing occasionally. Watch as he attempts to team kill. And even sucks at doing that. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Guys, seriously, when you see this kind of behaviour, it doesn't matter if you're on the same team or the enemy team, you need to hit that report button. This guy has been getting away with this for over a year, and he's only getting away with it. And his little douchebag friends too, because people are not hitting that report button. Wargaming can't ban these douchebags unless we complain about them. It, I don't know how to make it any more simple than that. <laughs> it really is. That's as basic as it gets. His behaviour is entirely his fault. But the reason he's able to continue getting away with crap like this, and not just him, his little douchebag friends too, is you're going to see them mouthing off in chat in a moment as well. Jingles, how do you know people aren't reporting him? Well, he's still playing. <laughs> I don't know how much more obvious to make it. The responsibility rests on us. He's not going to suddenly stop being a douchebag. If we want this kind of behaviour stamped out in World of Tanks, it's up to us, not him. I'm not suggesting that everybody immediately logs into World of Tanks, does a search for Schrader and his two little douchebag friends, and then immediately expends all ten of their daily report tickets on them. That's not going to achieve anything. The solution is much, much simpler. When you see this kind of behaviour in World of Tanks, when you're playing, just click the report button once. They're doing it often enough that it will soon mount up, and scumbags like this will no longer be able to play and ruin our games. So consider this a public service announcement on behalf of the World of Tanks community. And yes, I will be submitting a report of my own and citing this video as evidence. So my commiserations to Raven in the RU251 spare panzer, but my thanks also to Raven for bringing this to my attention so I can bring it to the attention of a wider audience and hopefully together we can actually start to get something done about it. As always folks, take care and I'll catch you next time.